How can you double your salary in 12 months? Join me as we have this discussion with Pamina Swainaina, the CEO of Corporate Staffing, and myself, Cynthia Wakio, the Communication and Events Manager at Corporate Staffing, and I hope you enjoy this discussion and get some tips on how you can improve your career. Thank you for joining me, Pamina. Thank you for having me, as usual. Yes, yeah. so we are talking about uh, time limits, 12 months, and how you can double a salary. Yeah. What are the key factors that someone can consider to ensure, mm. or to see this into fruition? So thank you for that question, uh, Cynthia. Mm. So before I share with you tips on how you can be able to improve uh, your salary, uh, did you know that only 1% of the Kenyan working population earn over 100,000 shillings? Mm, yeah. Only 1%. Yeah. 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 And according to KRA data, so the people who pay pay, they are more than 2.2 million as of last year, 2022 mm. data. So when you're talking about 1%, we're talking about um, less than what? If you do 200, 2 million, 200, 1 percent of that is less than 100,000 Kenyans. Mm. Yeah. So then the question is, how, what does it take to that to get to that level? You know? Yeah. So the tips I'm going to share with you are tips I've observed work, uh, because I've been in this field for the last 12 years. And so I'll be sharing with you what I've seen other professionals do. So point number one. And this is related to the example I give you of who earns 100,000 shillings. Uh, who earns? Who are the people who earn that 100,000 shillings and above? Uh, people in managerial positions. Perfect. Yeah. Yes. So the first thing you can do if you're looking to grow your salary is mm. get into a leadership position. Yeah. And this is something that many people shy away from. Mm. They find leadership, managing people, you know, to be a hard thing. But if you really look into one those big bucks, mm. you don't have a choice. Yes. You've got to aspire to be a leader. Yeah. But then how do you become a leader? Mm. So there are two things then you can be able to do. Number one is to be very competent in your work. Because promotions, they just don't come, you know, as by, uh, by the way. Yeah. People are promoted because they are adding value to an institution. Mm. So the more you are competent in your work, then someone is able to see the value you are bringing on board. Hence, you can have that conversation of uh, a promotion. Yeah. The other thing you can do, again, that can be able to help you with, with salary, is be able to acquire skill sets, which again, you help you rise to that level. And this skill set, um, I can categorize them into two. Number one, there's the soft skills. So for example, if you want to become a manager, think of a leadership course. Mm. Think of emotional intelligence. Um, those are soft skills that you set you apart from the other uh, employees. Then we do have the technical skills. So for example, skills like our project management, advanced Excel, you know, because now you'll be doing reports. Yeah. So um, again, that can go a wrong way in terms of you, you are positioning you different. Mm. Yeah. Then the other thing you can do is, um, it's always given that if you move jobs, um, it should come with um, uh, addition. an addition to yeah. your salary. Mm. So it goes without saying, if you've been in an institution for three years, no one can fault you if you, if you make a move. Mm. Because obviously that you also improve on your salary. Yeah. So top of mind, I would say aspire to be in a leadership position. Then look at how you can be able to improve your skills, both the technical and the soft skills. Mm. And then uh, depending on who you work for, if there are no opportunities for growth, then don't shy away from making a move. Yeah. yeah. I think even if you have all those qualities or rather skills and competences, uh, what, what matters also is being able to sell that to... Oh to yes, I, I forgot that mm -hmm. uh, you'll find, uh, and it's important that you brought that point because yeah. even if you have all those skills and you're not able, let's say you're called for an interview and you're not able to sell yourself, yes. then uh, you'll not be able to go far. Mm -hmm. So again, being able to know, you know, when it comes to your CV, is your CV selling you? Yeah? yeah, you know, can um, because a CV is a marketing document. So like now I know you, Cynthia, but mm. for someone else who doesn't know you there mm. and maybe they've never watched this uh, channel, mm. if you send them the CV, will you be they be able to see your skills and competence? Yeah. yeah. Also, when it comes to interviews, how are you able to um, are you able to market yourself within those thirty minutes to forty five minutes that you're given? So indeed, branding, personal branding, interview skills, CV mm. writing is another skill that you have to consider. Yes. Yeah. So what advice would you uh, give to professionals looking to make a difference in their salaries in uh, 
12 months. Yeah, I think uh, 12 months it's possible if right. you invest in yourself. The yes. key thing here is, are you investing in yourself? Mm. So whether you are taking short courses, and if you come to corporate staffing, we do offer some short courses, marketable short courses. Mm. So are you marketing yourself through the short courses? Um, are you improving? You know, are you acquiring additional skills like leadership? Yeah. yeah. Um, do you have an expert looking at your CV, you know, to be able to see how, whether it's able to market you? So it's all about investing yourself. Yeah. yeah. And remember, even when you look at successful organizations, they're not where they are because they just stay there. No, they put time, resources, yeah. you know, effort to be able to stand out. And that's what I would also recommend to the professionals. Yes. Yeah. It's possible. It is doable. <laughs> yes. yeah. yeah. Thank you for those tips and every weekly tips you give us. <laughs> Thank I'm very you. sure they are helpful to Happy to hear that. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you for watching this video. As you've heard from Paminas, Corporate Staffing is a one-stop shop. Whether you want to upskill yourself uh, with our short courses, whether you want an interview coach to help you pass your next interview or help you sell yourself through your CV, we are here to help. And visit our website. We'll leave the several links that we have talked about in the description box and we will see you in the next video.